Shalom family, I am Matimba Power. By Jesus' grace, I am a Bible teacher, an author, a South African recording gospel artist for the past two decades to the glory of God, a senior pastor of Kingdom Worship Center International Family, together with Lebohang, my wife. I'm so thankful to God for this incredible juncture bestowed to share a word with you. Today we are starting a series called The Power and the Benefits of Prayer. Let's zoom our attention to a scripture in Mark chapter 1 verse 35. The Bible says in the New King James Version of the Bible, And in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place. And there he prayed. The word pray here is the Greek word prosyohomahi, which means to pray unto God in supplication, to pray unto God in worship. Let's start here. What is prayer? Prayer can be defined as communication. The word communication, according to Google search, is defined as the sending of information and the receiving of feedback. The sending of information and the receiving of feedback. We learn that communication is one of the mighty pillars that helps us strongly in our relationships. It could be a relationship between a husband and a wife. Communication is vital. It could be a relationship between an employee and an employer. Communication is key. It could be a relationship between the government and the people of the land. Communication remains one of the mighty pillars that builds relationships. So is our dealing with the Lord. It is important that we must continually consistently and intentionally ascends information to God and because he's a talking God he really does respond. I like the Nelson Bible dictionary definition of prayer. It is defined as the intercourse of the human soul or the human spirit with the divine or with God. In other words, prayer is therefore defined as the intercourse of the human spirit or the intercourse between a human spirit and God. This is quite profound, but let's see how far we can go with it. Intercourse is one of the God-ordained way when we deal with a family setup and a marital setup between the husband and the wife. It is the God set order for productivity and fruitfulness. In other words, when we say there is a child at home or there are children, it's as a result of intercourse. I'm going there knowing very well that it's a sensitive area, but there are two ways that are key for us to understand within that concept, which is the word productivity and fruitfulness. In other words, when we pray, it is the intercourse, it is the inner connection of our spirits with God. And in that inner connection, an happening occurs, which we call in the Hebrew language, Yada. As Kingdom Worship Center International Family, you are aware that we talk about Yada praise, uh, which deals with the lifting up of our hands in praises unto God, based on Genesis 29 verse 35. I will not go there, but I want you to understand that Yada, without the H, gives us Uh, a secondary root word which means to know somebody intimately or experiential knowledge the same word is used when the bible says and Adam knew if and she bare a son and Abraham knew Sarah and she bare a son so it is the same word yada when we pray our spirits have a yada experience with God and his divinity is released in our humanity and empowers our humanity to do what our humanity cannot do without the empowerment by his divinity. That act takes place in prayer. And that helps us to be productive. Number two, it helps us to be fruitful. I like the word fruitful. It is a compound word. It is the combination of the word full and fruits. In other words, when we pray, Prayer has capacity to make our lives full 
of fruits and generally the majority of fruits are sweet which simply means prayer has capacity to make our life sweet let's go back to the word fruit when we study in the world of dietetics we learn of the fruits that boosts our immune system i am going there intentionally because of what we are facing as the family of men to share information but also to reveal what the lord has laid in my heart to share fruits such, such as grapefruits clementines tangerines oranges lemons lime are very instrumental they increase the production of the white blood cells which are key when it comes to fighting infections in our bodies in other words when we pray prayer boosts your immune system i just rushed to conclusion but remember this when you are eating this kind of foods that boost your immune system it helps your body to produce enough white blood cells that helps in fighting infections and in a way then you stay healthy a prayerful believer is a believer who charges his spirit who energizes his spirit who empowers himself as the lord empowers in that intimacy so that you can deal with the all different kinds of infectious demonic activities prayer charges your spirit so that you can be able to deal with all these different levels of demons i will share with you as we go jesus said pray that you not fall into temptations because temptations are all around us in luke 4 and matthew 4 we learn in the temptation of the lord the three levels of sin the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life all of this jesus overcame by the word combined with prayer and i want to encourage you pray when the bible says in mark chapter 1 verse 35 and in the morning having risen a long while before daylight he went out and departed to a solitary place there he prayed i shared with you as we began that the hebrew word for the greek word for prayer here it's prosio homahi which means to pray unto god in supplication that is standing on the promises of god and to pray unto god in worship and that is loving the father i encourage you to continue to pray because there are benefits may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord's face shine upon you may he give you peace may his countenance be on you and may he be gracious to you in jesus name if you are sick in any area of your body allow me to pray with you lord in the name that is above every other name the matchless name the thundering name the most powerful name the name of jesus i come against every sickness and disease of anybody under the sound of my voice we call upon that power that raised jesus from the dead to permeate through the airways and cause a restoration in the health of my listener in the mighty name of jesus i decree isa 53 verse 5 by the stripes of jesus you are healed and receive that healing now in jesus name amen and amen if you do not know jesus this is the perfect time to restore your life with the lord pray this prayer with me say lord jesus come into my heart and be my lord savior and king write my name in the lamb's book of life so i may spend eternity with you in jesus name amen and amen and if this teaching has been a blessing in your life kindly share it and also the contact numbers that you can use is 0724685659 also be in touch with us on mobile number that that number is used for both calling and whatsapp but also be in touch with us on my youtube channel which is called matimba power we will also share this teaching in that platform as well but the lord bless you and have a glorious day in jesus name amen